Hello, in this lecture we're going to talk about the high-low method. At the end of this, we will be able to explain what the high-low method is and why we use it, and calculate an estimate for variable cost and fixed cost using the high-low method. So we're going to work through a problem using this data set on this side. So we've got the months, we've got the sales data, we've got the total costs, and our objective, the objective of the high-low method will be that we have the total cost here, but we don't know what the variable cost or fixed cost portion of that total cost is. This is a common problem when we try to think of managerial accounting. Remember, we're often trying to say, okay, what's the variable costs? What's the fixed cost? And we want to break them out by behavior so that we can more easily make projections and estimates by treating costs by behavior. Now, in an ideal world, we would know exactly <laughs> what, you know, which costs would be variable and which would be fixed. But in reality, of course, there are a lot of costs that we don't know exactly what the variable or fixed portion is. And we can then use some type of estimate because we still really want to use the variable cost and fixed cost in order to make projections. So in order to do that, we can then try to figure out what the estimated portion of a variable portion and fixed portion would be on, uh, on a cost. And we can use the high-low method in order to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to break out these costs. So we're going to look for an estimate, a way to break out the variable portion. And then, then once we know the variable portion, we, of course, then can figure out what the fixed portion is, uh, those being the two portions of the total cost. So in order to do that, we're going to use the high-low formula. The high-low formula is going to be the cost at the high point and minus the cost at the low point. So if we're looking at the cost over here, of course, these will be the high point. The 249,136 is the high point, and the low point is the 61,000 here. And then we're going to take the over divided by the volume at the high point in this case we're going to use the sales dollars minus the volume at the low point so we're using sales dollars in order to drive this uh, calculation and of course th that will be the 356,000 at the high point and the 75,200 at the low point so we're going to plug this information into our formula note that we're taking the high point and the low point and we're kind of doing like an estimate so if we get the thing right at the high point and the low point and we we come out to in this case we're going to come out to the same fixed cost number then we're going to say okay that's a pretty good estimate for uh, this particular type of cost all right so let's plug in the numbers so the cost at the high point is going to be this 249 uh, thirty-six. so if we look at the cost in this data set of course we're taking the high number which will be this number here and then we're going to subtract according to the formula over here the uh, cost at the low point and if we look through the cost on this data set we come up to this 61,000 here we're going to divide that by the volume at the high point in this case volume being in sales dollars and of course that's going to be this 356,000 here minus and then we're going to have the volume at the low point volume at the low point being this 75,200 here and that's going to be there then if we do the subtraction in the numerator and the denominator we say that 249,136 minus the 61,000 is 188,136 uh, then we subtract the, de the denominator the 356,000 minus the 75,200 will give us the 280,800. Then if we take this and divide it by this in a calculator, this divided by that, we are going to equal the 0.67 or 67 cents. So that's going to be what we're going to use then uh, in order to allocate the variable portion. So we're going to say uh, 0.67 of the volume, in this case being the sales dollar, will be the variable portion and then once we figure that out we can then subtract the total from the variable portion to get the fixed portion and uh, we'll do that calculation for the high point and the low point and we will hopefully come out to the same calculation for the fixed portion that would that's what we would expect uh, the fixed portion is going to be fixed at the high point and the low point and should therefore be the same all right so we're going to then calculate the high uh, low method we're going to calculate the high point to see how the uh, allocation could work and then kind of break out what the variable and the fixed cost would be. All right, so here's the high point. So we have the total cost of the 249,136. We wanna break that out between a variable portion and a fixed portion in order to do that. We're gonna do the variable cost at the high point calculation. So we are gonna take, to do that, we're gonna take the volume at the high point. So that's the volume in terms of sales dollars here. That's where we come up with this uh, 356,000. We're gonna multiply that times the variable cost per sales dollar that's our calculation up here variable cost per sales dollar gives us that uh, 0.67 and if we multiply this 356,000 times the 0.67 we come up with the 238,520 
that's the variable portion of this total cost that's the variable portion therefore if this is the total minus the variable portion the only other piece being the fixed portion subtracting those out we get the 10,616 fixed portion so now this total cost is broken out between the variable portion the 238,510 and the fixed portion 10,116 now if we do the same method for the if we do the same calculation for the low point we're going to come out to the same fixed cost although variable cost will change so let's do that we're going to say the low point then same calculation there's a very very less in terms of total cost the 61,000 we want to break that out between the variable portion fixed portion same calculation we're going to take the uh, variable cost at the low point calculation so we're going to take the volume at the low point that's the sales dollars in this case the 75,200 we're going to multiply that times the variable cost per sales dollar the 0 0.67 and if we multiply that out we get the total variable cost at the low point 50,384 and if this is the total cost if that's the variable portion then we subtract those out to get the fixed portion being the 10,616 so it's the same at the high point and the low point that's why it's kind of an average that we can use so we can kind of use it at any point because we're estimating that it's basically good as as the average on the high and the low point so we can see that comparison here we can see that at the high point we have a, a much more total much larger total cost than at the low point uh, and we can see that the variable portion of course is, is highly different that's what's going to change the fixed portion is what is remaining the same in this calculation that's what we would expect at the two extreme points using this high low method